Welcome to EverBlue Training Institute's Introduction to LEAD. In this brief presentation, we will define LEAD, discuss the role of the U.S. Green Building Council, explain the LEAD rating systems, and the LEAD credentialing process. LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It's an internationally recognized green building certification system, which provides third-party verification that a building or community was designed and built using strategies aimed at improving performance across all the metrics that matter most. Developed by the U.S. Green Building Council, or USGBC, LEED provides a yardstick for measuring building sustainability. Founded in 1993, the USGBC now has over 20,000 member organizations, 120,000 LEED accredited professionals, and has been used to build more than 3.6 billion square feet of space sustainably. The LEED rating systems are grouped into five main categories, building design and construction, interior design and construction, operations and maintenance, homes, and neighborhood development. The first category, building design and construction, contains five rating systems. These rating systems are guidelines for new buildings or old buildings undergoing major renovations. Schools, hospitals, office buildings, and apartment buildings are all examples of buildings that would fall into this category. The second category is green interior design and construction, which includes lead commercial interiors and lead retail interiors. These rating systems were designed specifically for tenants leasing a portion of a larger building. For example, they could be used for a company leasing commercial office space or for a Starbucks in a strip center. The third category is green building operations and maintenance, which includes lead for existing buildings and lead for existing schools. The rating systems for existing buildings can be used by building owners and operators to measure operations and maintenance as well as make minor improvements. The fourth category is LEED for Homes, which was specifically designed for single and multifamily residential structures that are no more than three stories. LEED for Homes is modeled on the Environmental Protection Agency's successful Energy Star for Homes program and became available to the public in 2008. It applies to single and multifamily residential units up to three stories tall. The fifth and final category is LEED for Neighborhood Development, which integrates the principles of smart growth, urbanism, and green building into the first national program for neighborhood design. LEED for Neighborhood Development is in its pilot phase and will be released to the public in 2010. So who does LEED impact? Anyone involved in building. From the owner and architect on down to the contractors actually building a building, the entire construction industry has a vested interest in making buildings that cost less to operate, are healthier and more comfortable for occupants, and are ultimately better for our country and our planet. Any of these individuals can become credentialed with any of the designations available from the U.S. Green Building Council. As of May 2009, the new credentialing system is broken into three tiers. The only Tier 1 credential available is called Lead Green Associate. A candidate who passes the two-hour Lead Green Associate exam has demonstrated that they possess the knowledge and skill to support green design, construction, and operations. There are five Tier 2 credentials available, which are all called Lead AP with Specialty. The Lead AP with Specialty credential signifies an advanced depth of knowledge in green building practices. Two-hour specialty exams are available for each of the five major categories of LEAD. A candidate only needs to pass one of the five exams to be considered a LEAD AP with specialty. The third and final LEAD credential is the Tier 3 LEAD AP Fellow, which will be available in 2010. LEAD Fellows would become part of an extraordinary class of leading professionals, distinguished by their years of experience and contributions to the standards of practice and body of knowledge in the green building field. To become a LEAD Green Associate, someone must first pass the two-hour, 100-question LEAD Green Associate exam. The Green Associate exam tests a candidate's understanding of basic green building concepts. 
In order to become eligible to sit for the lead AP with specialty exam, a candidate must first demonstrate that they have work experience on a lead project. If a candidate does not have work experience, they can use their LEAD Green Associate credential to gain experience if they wish to go on to get a Tier 2 credential. Once a candidate has the necessary experience, they must choose their area of specialization. At a minimum, someone must pass at least one of the five specialty exams in order to be considered a LEAD AP with specialty. The Tier 2 exams are 100 questions and last two hours. Each LEAD AP specialty exam tests a candidate's in-depth understanding of one of the five main rating system categories. Everblue Training Institute is a veteran-owned business and the largest LEAD training provider in the United States. Everblue offers training seminars to prepare individuals for the various LEAD exams. Our award-winning instructors have trained thousands of students and set the bar for LEAD training in the United States. In addition to exceptional live instruction, Everblue offers online practice exam questions, online live training in the form of weekly webinars, as well as independent online training so that our students can learn about LEAD and prepare to pass any of the LEAD exams at their own pace without leaving their homes. For more information, visit our website at everblueenergy.com.